Today I received my Mission Models Edgemate 3C photo etch bending tool in the mail. My name is Brett Green and over the next few minutes we're going to take a look at uh, this new version of the Edgemate and how it works. The Edgemate 3C is snugly packed in a clear plastic box along with three orange safety blades that are used for folding. The tool itself consists of a base plate uh, and three clamps on top, one large unit in the middle and two either side. Uh, these three clamps pressure six different width fingers which actually hold the photo etch parts to be bent. The most surprising part of the tool is that it doesn't appear to be metal, in fact it's a very strong but lightweight composite material. Also included with the Etchmate are three folding blades. There's one longer unit and two shorter units of the same size. Along the lightweight theme, these are also uh, a composite plastic material, but the edges are very fine. The good news though is that they're certainly not as sharp as razor blades and are going to be much safer to use, while still being small enough to slip under any photo etch part that you need to fold. By a happy coincidence, today I also received the 148 scale Fighting 48th M4A4 Sherman 5C Firefly hull conversion. This impressive set includes a fairly large photo etch fret, so I thought it would be an ideal candidate to put the Etchmate 3C through its paces. But before we can fold, we have to remove the part from the sprue. I like to use a new blade in my small Alpha cutting knife and I always cut my photo etch parts on uh, a base of hard black laminate. I always try to cut as close as possible to the part but inevitably uh, sometimes you wind up with a, a little burr uh, protruding from the, uh, the photo etch part. So here I'm using a, a small steel file just to get rid of that excess photo etch material. With a part this small you don't really need to loosen the clamps on either side of the Etchmate 3C. I've just loosened the, the center clamp and that's enough to actually slide the, uh, the piece under the folding finger. I've been careful to position the fold line on this small photo etch part over the channel on the base plate. Once that's in place, I've screwed down the clamp nice and tight to hold the part in position. Now we're ready to fold. The orange folding blade just works the same as a razor blade, a little less dangerous, that's all. We slide the blade under the photo etch part and the groove in the base effectively uh, traps the blade. Once we lift the blade, uh, we fold the part to the, uh, to the degree that we, we need it done. We repeat this process, uh, depending on the number of folds that are needed uh, on the part, until the, the part is actually completed. Depending on the shape of the part, you might have to carefully plan the sequence and the type of finger that you use uh, when you're folding it. The parts that we've been working on are the smoke dispensers at the back of the, uh, the Sherman Fireflies hull. These would be small in 35th scale but in 148th scale they are really tiny and quite fiddly. But the Etchmate 3C has made short work of the, uh, the folding and construction. I think that the Etchmate is even more useful for bending longer photo etch parts. On the opposite side of the six small fingers is a six and a half inch straight length. First we unscrew the three clamps, remove the washers and spring as, uh, as necessary and, uh, and remove the, uh, the clamp unit. Now we're putting the spring back onto the middle pedestal for the, uh, the main clamp before we replace the clamping head, this time with the 6.5 inch straight blade uh, facing the middle 
of the base. Once the three handles are screwed back down, we're back in business. The process for folding a longer photo etch piece is very similar to folding the, the smaller photo etch parts. In this case, I loosened all three clamps before carefully positioning the piece of photo etch material with the fold line along the, uh, the groove in the base, then clamping the centre clamp first and the two outside clamps to make sure that the entire length of the part uh, is nice and snugly uh, fitted underneath the, uh, the long finger. And here's the result after a few minutes folding. This is the top uh, of the rear hull box on a Sherman Firefly or an M4A4. The folding of these narrow edges could be quite tricky using any other method, but once again, the Etchmate 3C has made this a, a very simple task. Mission Model's new Etchmate 3C is very simple to use, robust yet lightweight, and will be an ideal companion for anybody who needs to fold photo etch parts, whether they be modelers of armour, uh, ships or aircraft.